Well, it's not all serious business here on uh, Voku Africa this morning, and it's not time to play a bit for at least to talk about playing. Seriously, now, today is International Play Day, and I have someone here to educate us on uh, how about such uh, days, in, what in days, uh, the, the days like this entail. I welcome Monica Stack, of Chief Operating Officer at Kotlin's. A very good morning to you, Monica. You're encouraging people to play, 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 and play. That's true, yes. Today mm. is uh, World Play Day. Mm. Uh, it was founded by... Um, Dr. Frida Kim of Free International Toy Library Association in 2000 mm -hmm. and today more than 35 uh, countries across the world is celebrating mm -hmm. World Play Day mm -hmm. and Kotlin's is also doing that. Mm -hmm. How today. are you doing that? Uh, well, today we've um, invited corporates and business uh, people mm -hmm. to uh, take out a license to play. You can mm -hmm. SMS um, to our um, SMS 385885 um, um, and pledge a 10 rand which mm -hmm. would help children to play and give children mm -hmm. access to toy libraries mm -hmm. and play groups. Uh, just so say the game, 38585. That's right. People can SMS. What do they need to SMS? They, is, they just SMS the word play uh. and then support and help us to constitute more toy libraries and play groups. Oh, geez, I get so frustrated because I buy my son all the most expensive toys there are out there and he never plays with them. He finds the most ridiculous things to play with. You don't need to buy expensive toys in order to play. No, you don't need that. Uh, we see that children initiate play and that children um, will take the leading play and that's the best kind of play. Mm. And so we also encourage and, and want to um, plead to parents to make time to play with their children. Mm. I think uh, especially today on World Play mm. Day, mm. Um, it's about intergenerational play and even adults should be playing. Mm. I think we forget to do that um, mm. as adults. And so, um, yes, you don't need anything expensive. And I think there's so, there's, there are many traditional games that mm. uh, parents can pass on to their children mm. and that's also a form mm. of play. Um, such as hopscotch, skipping, mm. um, well, good old soccer mm -hmm. um, and there um, are some indigenous games also mm -hmm. you know that are that have been played and it's very interesting to note that something like hopscotch mm -hmm. um, internationally it's a game mm -hmm. that everybody plays mm -hmm. where did it originate you mm -hmm. know it was just passed on mm -hmm. from generation to generation mm -hmm. and i think also we need to um, also be very careful around the impact that technology has on our children mm -hmm. um, it's taking up most of their time mm -hmm. and so that could be could be harmful it's also a form of play mm -hmm. and i think we need to make sure that there's a balance that mm -hmm. they uh, play with other children as mm. well so they can learn the social skills mm. and um, yes and, and just mm. get play out there and mm. play lays the foundation for learning I mm. think um, we forget how very crucial play is in the first few years of life and um, we've seen that children who don't have access to play how that really is detrimental mm. to their development mm. Mm. How have you seen that? Well, you see, if, um, if children never have the opportunity to physically um, mm. crawl, run for people to really release stress mm. and, um, and yes, play with your children today mm. and um, also um, dress up, have fun mm. um, and mm. bring that element back mm. into the world of your children. How is Kotlin's doing? Uh, we're doing very well. Mm. Um, uh, organization 78 years old this year mm. uh, we've managed to reinvent ourselves into the early childhood development space we um, are custodians of toy libraries in South Africa and mm. we also set up early learning play groups um, an estimated 84% of children under the age of four have no ac access to any form of early learning and stimulation mm. and those children are placed at a great disadvantage mm. so we have operations in five provinces mm -hmm. uh, where we set up these early learning uh, play groups which mm -hmm. children attend as the first step of, of getting access mm. and being stimulated and um, getting the skills they need so mm. that when they enter formal schooling they'll be successful mm. and of course it's all based around play mm. yeah what using ages play are they? to learn and so those age groups so we do it for birth to six our birth to two program focuses on the first thousand days and looks at um, that very first stages of development I think some of us uh, we don't always realize how rapidly the brain develops in that first two years and and so we encourage mothers and so we have mothers and child groups mm. and um, and we teach mothers how to stimulate children the, the baby's development through mm. uh, baby touching and um, encouraging uh, this talking mm. to babies singing mm. to babies and in that way mm. you create these neural pathways mm. which sets the children up for mm. success well thanks so much for joining us so i'm certainly going to go home and play this afternoon uh, hopefully uh, later on when i'm done here i'm joined by monica stack a ceo, a CEO of uh, kotlin's chatting about uh, international play day today 28th of may and promoting educational benefits of uh, playing freely so get out there this afternoon and uh, or this evening uh, later on and uh, play with your child he'll appreciate it she'll appreciate it and you might actually end up having some fun anyway moving on an apparent disagreement has emerged